Transvision Associated Security Overload or TACO. After learning, students should be able to understand the pathophysiology of the reactions, explain causes and effects of the events, select an appropriate laboratory investigations to help the diagnosis and monitoring of medical treatments, and the most important thing is to manage and select the best blood components for patients to prevent the reaction that may occur again. Transfusion reactions can be classified into two main groups, acute and delay, depending on the onset of the reaction. Both groups are also divided into immune and non-immune mediated based on causes. Immune mediated reaction means that patients produce oral antibodies specific to red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, or plasma while the non-immune mediated reactions are caused by other factors. TARCO is classified as non-immune mediated acute transfusion reactions. Transfusion associated circulatory overload is occurred when blood volume of overload is transfused to patients with compromised ability to regulate fluid balance. Size, symptoms, and manifestation of TARCO include jugular venous distension, shortness of breath, hypertension, autopnea, severe headache, deep sneer, hypoxemia, and finding of new ST segment and TBF changes in EKG. Patients with compromised ability to regulate fluid balance are at risk for TARCO, including tiny infant, elderly patient, especially orthopedic elderly, such as pelvic replacement, patient with history of heart failure, bedridden, such as paralysis, patient with history of myocardial infarction, patient with end-state renal failure, and patient with positive fluid balance. There is no laboratory investigation for TARCO because it is an impair in regulating fluid balance, not immune-mediated or biochemical changes. In case of suspected congestive heart failure, increase in serum BNP and troponin are observed. BNP or brain natriuretic peptide is used to differentiate TARCO from TRALI. Post-transfusion to pre-transfusion BNP ratio of 1.5 with a post-transfusion level of at least 100 picogram per milliliter as a cutoff provides more than 80% of sensitivity and specificity for TARCO. Some laboratories measure N-terminal propeptide of BNP or call NT-proBNP because it has a longer half-life. Be reminded that TACO may present some signs and symptoms as observed in TRALI. This table demonstrates unique signs and symptoms which can be used to differentiate TACO from TRALI, such as TACO has no fever, but hypertension and severe headache is always presented in TACO. TACO responses to diuretic drug treated and always related to blood volume infused. Moreover, in case of cardiac overload, BNP level will be highly increased due to congestive heart failure.
when cargo is suspected, immediately stop transfusion. Press the patient in a sitting position or call Fowler's position to release pressure and relieve severe headache. Provide the supplement oxygen and reduce the intravascular volume with diuretic drugs. If symptoms are still persist, TACO is confirmed. Therapeutic phrebotomy can be performed. In the absence of ongoing and rapid blood loss, blood components should be administered slowly, especially in patients at least of TACO, including pediatric patients, patients with severe anemia, and patients with congestive heart failure. The infusion rate of 2 to 4 ml per minute and 1 ml per kilo body weight per hour are recommended. And during transfusion, urine output should be monitored. An alert card should be provided for patients with history of tackle.